Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to put your pixels onto the banding material once you have it marked. Ours is marked every four inches. Right here you're going to see the boat hole for our end clamp. It's going to go onto your topper uh, at the top of your tree. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start this one here. I'm going to have to remove it from my piece here that I have holding it. Okay, and I'm going to just leave my wire stranded. I don't know how you're going to connect yours, but you can figure out what to do if you're a wire. But you're going to space your uh, pixel on them white marks pretty much right even with them. And then I'm going to start taping. And while you're taping, just make sure you got to get the first one right. And everyone should line up. I mean, you got to keep them right in order to line up the one that's going to be next to it. Okay. Mine looks a little bit off, so I'm going to push it up. And when you're doing this, you want to get something to hold it so you can uh, kind of pull it along as you're uh, taping. Okay, now I'm going to line up the next one. Once you get it lined up, it may be easier just to put your thumb here and kind of hold it in place. Now your choice of, uh, I'm using black tape, I'm actually just using cheap stuff. I'm going to kind of see how it holds up during the season. But some people have bought the more expensive UV uh, type stuff that cost, I guess, as much as $4 or more a row. Uh, what I bought was a whole pack of, I forgot how many was in it. You get them at Lowe's for five bucks for, uh, I think it's a pack of six or more. Okay, again, just you got to keep pay attention to where the lines are and get them centered there. Uh, and then when you do your second strand, or if you have someone that that's going to help you, set it up where you could do two at a time and as you're going down you could kind of slide the other one over every so many and just compare and make sure your help or you're not getting off uh, off center so you pretty much you know it's just it's going to be a time consuming thing but if you want your graphics if you're going to put graphics in your tree or any other kind of effects that have shape. Uh, you want to make sure your pixels are all next to each other. Okay, then you know you're pretty much going to go down your whole band. And just strap each one on. Until you get your last one on. And then in a previous video you've seen how we use the hole puncher to put this end piece on that's going to have your S hook that's going to attach to your ring and help you take out your slack at the finish of cranking up your tree but uh, we'll talk about in the next video 
how to uh, get these ready to string on a tree and figure out your height and your diameter of your ring.